Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gents? It's me, Benjamin, and I actually managed to get into the Smite Alpha, so I figured that would be make a great video, so I'm pretty motivated to jump on here and play a little bit of Smite. I've played this game on the One and the PC when they were both, like, super big at that time, so I can kind of get around, but I'm not at all the best. I'm not going to go out and say that. So, if you want to see more Smite gameplay, I know you haven't seen any yet, but if you actually watch through this entire video and decide that you want to see more, be sure to leave a like and comment. All support is appreciated. And let's jump right into this. Hold the line! Don't fall to the Chaos Forces! Voice though. Oh. 100% he's dead. You cannot come back from that. Has fallen. Our weak. Oh my god. Okay. I have a feeling that's me. Neath, the Egyptian Weaver of Fate. You have arrived just in time. Hurry. Defend the Phoenix until it responds. Use the left and right stick to get there. I'm right here. Hardest mission of this game. Destroy them. Use the right stick to aim, then fire your bow when you're ready. Each time you slay an enemy or destroy an objective, you gain experience or Benjamin with that two piece though. XP and you will level up, allowing you to unlock abilities. Unlock Spirit Arrow, needs first ability. By default, your abilities will be trained automatically for you after this tutorial. Just something to keep in mind, I do actually play Claw on like every game that I play. So, I don't really know if that's going to help me much on here, but it does Call of Duty. <laughs> Use the targeter to help direct you when casting your abilities. With the targeter visible, press the button to fire. Ooh. Quad feed. Back to back, never mind. No, I wasn't. The Phoenix has responded. Bruh. Excellent work. Head back to the fountain and let's, let's prepare, prepare to advance. You've taken a lot of damage and need to replenish your health. Teleport back to the fountain now. Within the fountain, gods will rapidly gain health and restore their mana. Gold can be used to purchase okay. items from your team's item store, but only while you are in your base fountain. Open the item store now to purchase some items. This view is your recommended list and shows items most likely to help you in your role. One of these items is Light Blade, which increases your damage and the speed of your basic attacks. I'm gonna be so honest with you, I would, I would rather have a bow it. than a blade. Great. You can also purchase active items. Active items can be used like ability. Finally, let's buy a consumable item. Unlike this, active items, this is gonna, consumable items can this is gonna be come in twice. clutch. Select the you know. potion and purchase that as well. I'm doubting myself here, I'm gonna Very be honest good. with you. These items will help you in your battles. Remember, there are other views in the shop. You can also use the filters to search for items that grant specific passive benefits. That looks like nice. a Go now! Okay. Your tower is under I was about to say that looked a little bit minions. powerful, but Go there now. never mind. <laughs> Some of you guys that actually play this game a lot are looking at me or watching this video, calling me a noob. I know. Impressive. The relic you I hope over time I'll actually be able to get can be used to like, a lot better at this game. And for your allies. I guess it is what it is. Now it's time for payback. Push to the enemy tower. Ooh, we on that offense now. 
Let's do this. Remember to stay behind your minions so that I they take minions. the brunt of the tower's attack. If the tower target to you, fall back out of range. I guess that little number right below the red bar was its hit points. Look out! The enemy god Emir has joined the fight. Defeat him and move okay, on to the Okay, he doesn't Phoenix. look happy. Enemy gods are a greater threat and are usually controlled by enemy players. You should defeat this god before moving on. I don't actually think this one's an enemy player, though. First blood. That was easy. Hey. The enemy Phoenix, which can only be damaged by your basic attack. Once destroyed, all of your minions in this lane will spawn with upgraded weapons and deal more damage. Unlike towers, a Phoenix will eventually respawn. Destroy the enemy Phoenix, but remember Man, to... Man, those guys are taking... The attack. I was about to say they're taking shots and they just die. Hey. Oh, don't tell me I have to fight him. I will handle this myself! <laughs> With Neath on my side, you have no chance. No, no. We shall see. Okay. Here Start goes. The enemy base and destroy their titan to win. Can't shoot over that thing. Yeah, you just take on those little guys. Yeah, I have a feeling that little number is their hit point right now. I was actually kind of worried about that fight, to be honest with you, but never mind. <laughs> Which one? The tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so to be completely honest with you guys right here, I actually have another, a, uh, another smite beta code for PlayStation 4 for North America that I will be giving away on my Twitter. All that you have to do is retweet a tweet and uh, favorite it or like it. That's what they call it now. That You have to like it and I'm just gonna go in and randomly pick one using probably one of those little generator things and good luck to everyone. In the, I'll see you in the next video.